Welcome to Leaf Nautical Sailing Academy. I'm Paul Murray and today we're going to take another look at tidal heights. We might find ourselves at anchor at a location like this one on the west of Scotland. I'd like to be certain that at the next low water we'd still be afloat. It's Saturday the 5th of October and at 14.33 we pick up a mooring near Namley Harbour. The depth of water when we arrive is 4 metres and our boat has a draft of 1.6 metres. So what will the clearance under the boat be at the next low water? To find this out, we need to follow three simple steps. Step one, use the tide graph to find the height of tide at our time of arrival, 1433. Step two, calculate the fall in the tide from the time we arrive to the next low water. And step three, calculate the clearance that we will have at the next low water. Using the tide graph for Namley, we can see that at 14.33, the height of tide is 1.8 metres. So for step one, we've used the tidal graph and we found the height of tide. For step two, we now calculate the fall in the tide. We take our 1.8 metres, that's the height of tide when we arrived, and we take away the next low water height, 0 0.3 metres. And that gives us a fall in the tide of 1.5 metres. Now, Step three, we can calculate the clearance at low water. We take our depth of water when we arrived at 1433, which was four meters. We take away from that the fog in the tide, 1.5 meters, and we take away the draft of the boat, 1.6 meters. And that gives us a clearance at the next low water of 0 0.9 metres. It's the depth of water minus the falling tide minus the draft of boat that gives us our clearance at low water. So that's how we do our height of tide calculations to establish the clearance at low water. I'm Paul Murray from Leaf Nautical Sailing Academy. We hope that you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.